Good morning from the busy streets of Hanoi. I am up and ready to go to Kat Ba National Park today. I'm waiting for my transfer and I'll be able to start my travel day. I have no idea what to expect, where I'm even going, so this is an adventure for sure. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, we made it to a rest stop and it's actually a very nice rest stop with like clean bathrooms that you can use for free. We are on the bus. They're gonna drop me off at Kat Ba National Park and the rest of the people on the bus are going to Haolong Bay. So I'm the only one that's not going to do the main event, but I'm gonna go tomorrow, so I'm not worried about it. So far, it's been a really good experience taking the bus from Hanoi and going over to this national park. I have no expectations, so I'm just going with the flow. <laughs> Okay, so we made it, but we actually are going to an island, so we have to take a fast boat. So now we're gonna get all our bags and get onto the boat. So it's a little bit more of a travel day than I expected. Yeah, I'm ready to do it. I met up with some people that I met in Hanoi and we came to the beach. We just got here and it's so beautiful, what? We realized the only place to eat was this fancy restaurant. So now we're gonna have lunch and it's beautiful. Look at it. We are actually royalty now. We are royalty. We've got a jellyfish here <laughs> chopped up into a meal. Are you gonna try some? Right now? Yeah. <laughs> jellyfish, wow. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Can't even get it. It's too jelly. Yeah, what is the text? Like the texture will be chewy, I think. I've not cooked jellyfish, but that Maybe looks the same as squid. raw. Is it good? Yeah. It's always the face like thinking if it's good or not, and then you know you need to decide. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Good, yeah, okay. Bon appetit then. And the sauce, yeah. The fish sauce, I think that is. Bon appetit then. Yeah, bon appetit. <laughs> With a view. Oh my gosh, lunch was so good. And the view though. This place is a paradise. 
So that was a very expensive lunch. It came out to be 317,000 dong, which is about 20 New Zealand dollars. So the most I've spent on a meal for sure, but so nice, so fancy. I do recommend it. And it's the only place to eat at this beach. So you have to eat there, even if you didn't want to. <laughs> walked on this trail along the cliff and we came to the second beach of the day and it's such a gorgeous trail you just walk all around the ocean and the cliffs it's stunning this hotel is so cool look at all the flowers wow you have to do this if you're ever in cat bat island you got to do the beach walk okay that's a wrap on the beaches in cat ba this one was so pretty it was so fun. Again, highly recommend that you do the beach walk when you're in Katba. from the elevator I literally had not a private moment to myself there was always somebody in my room I am heading to Halong Bay today just packed up ready to wait for my bus to take me to the boat yeah I had a night in a six bed dorm room and it was okay it was just a bunch of guys really young guys uh, the room was nice it was a good setup it's the sister hostel to the other hostel I stayed at I had a decent sleep but I'm looking forward to something different and I really enjoyed my time here on Cat Fat Island seriously it was a really good time I had no idea this place existed like two days ago and I also ran into people I had met on the walking tour in Hanoi so we hung out last night it was amazing like I like just connecting with people, running into people, going to the beach. It was all like unplanned, but it was a really good day yesterday. But now I'm ready for Halong Bay. This is something I'm really looking forward to. It's a place I've wanted to visit for a really long time now. I've always thought of Halong Bay when I think of Vietnam, so I can't believe I'm gonna see it today and I'm gonna take you guys along on the adventure. So let's go. <laughs> Getting on the boat, getting on the boat.
this is nicer than I thought. <laughs> Tell me why this boat is really nice. Like I wasn't expecting that. <gasps> so excited. Okay, look at this room on this boat. This is like five star. It really is. We have our own patio. Look at the sun loungers. Oh my god. Oh my god, we have a wardrobe even. Man, maybe I should have done the two nights. Honestly, say we're out. The bathroom, oh my god, the shower. Stop. Oh my god, look at the tub. Whoa. Ass tub, y'all. Whoa. I can't believe this room, though. That's wild. Oh my gosh. Girl. Oh look at god. this. Oh my god. Canadian oh my god. stepping up. Oh so funny, <laughs> Slowly floating by. This whole situation is unreal. Everybody's shocked by the room and we can't believe that it's like a budget. I'm not going to spend time partying. I'm just going to go put dinner upstairs. Have a little and little then come back to the room. I'm going to enjoy more over here. Yeah. This is Melissa. And then we have one more. I don't know where she went. One She's more girl there. in our room. She's over there. The Canadians somehow found each other um, all the way in Halong Bay. We're gonna have one night, one night on the boat. Oh, look at that. <laughs> the ginger. Okay, we're all getting ready for the party tonight. It's a barbecue and then a party on the sun deck. So I've slicked the hair, got it ready for dancing. And I'm wearing the dress that I was gonna wear on my birthday, but we're gonna christen it tonight instead. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and the ladies in the back. Eh. <laughs> this should be fun and I'm looking forward to a good dinner. Let's go have some good food and a little bit of a boogie. Cheers!
come up onto the secret deck and it looks like we're at a wedding reception. And it's a barbecue buffet. Oh, that's so cool. Dinner. Oh yeah. You can start. Oh, we're playing Never Have I Ever, and the music is like such a very interesting vibe in this place. <laughs> oh, having fun. from the boat on the balcony. Last night was so much fun. There's a really good group of us girls who are hanging out on this boat. Couple solo travelers, couple girls traveling together, but we just have a good vibe going. So we all got together, we were just dancing and it was a really cute little pool party moment. But today is a very action-packed morning. We're gonna get breakfast from 7.30 to 8.30. Then we're kayaking from 8.30 to 9.30. And then we have to check out of our rooms from 10.30. We're gonna head back. So our quick one one night stay on the boat has already gone by so quickly. You can do two nights, but like I said, that was sold out. So at least I got to experience this for one night and the group of people that were here were so good. So I'm really happy that it worked out the way it worked out. <sighs> it's just the foggy morning in Halong Bay. Like it's just still surreal that I'm here. Like it's just gone by so quick. I just need to take a moment to just appreciate it, you know, and like be here with it. I can't wait for kayaking. I'll show you guys what I get up to in my kayak. It's bright out here. It's time for kayaking. Everyone's getting suited up. I had an extra. Kayaking. Yes, keep posing. We kayaking in Halong Bay! <laughs> wow, this is real life, this is real life. Hello! Don't know if you can see us because there's so much water on this case. <laughs> <laughs> here we are, we out here kayaking. We out here kayaking, kayaking in Halong this is Melody. I don't think you've been on the vlog yet. I know. Canadian. Hi. Yes. Canadian life. <laughs> Two Canadians in a kayak. Yes, what is life right now? <laughs> You're giving me wind and rain. You're some kind of butterfly. Oh my god, yes, we're in a video now. Right Baby, you now. Yes. Say hi. How long is it? How long is it? Goodbye to the room for one night only. We had fun. We came, we saw, we kayaked, and now it's time to go. So let's go. Back to Hanoi we go.
literally the cars are gonna run us over but we're going on a ferry we're heading back to hanoi what an adventure though such an adventure Hello everybody, I'm at Buffalo Hostel in Hanoi. We made it back. We had a really long travel day, but we had that amazing kayaking. Honestly, that was the highlight. I was with the beautiful Melody and we had a moment on the kayak where we were like, this is just so beautiful. I can't take it. It was just so stunning. I'm so grateful to have had such a, an amazing group of women on this trip. They made it so much fun and they made it so special and we were all just vibing and it was just so much fun. I did my best to just stay present, but I think I did share some clips from last night where we just had so much fun dancing and oh my gosh, they just made it so special. How Long Bay was amazing because of the group of amazing women that I shared it with. So I'm so grateful. We're gonna spend a little bit of time tonight checking out maybe the night market, grabbing some dinner, and then everybody's going their separate ways tomorrow. So I'm just really thankful for the time that we did have together, even though it was short but sweet. And now I'm getting ready to just start the tour tomorrow and that's a whole new chapter to this trip so i will share a little bit of tonight but if not i'll catch you guys tomorrow finished dinner and now we're at the night market the night market only happens on the weekend and it's Sunday today and it's been madness it's been absolute madness since we started walking in the streets getting back from Halong Bay it's it's crazy but the night market sells just clothing so if you want some clothes cheap clothes these are a hundred dong so nice. yeah you could come and uh, <laughs> You can come and do some shopping at the night market only on the weekends though. Sunday night. Let's check it out. And that wraps up my time visiting Cat Ba Island and doing an overnight Halong Bay boat tour. Cat Ba Island is a large island in northern Vietnam and is known for the stunning limestone mountains, beautiful caves, and awesome beaches. And it's also home to the beautiful Halong Bay. I was surprised by the quality of the beaches here and actually I really recommend a visit to both Cat Ba Island and Halong Bay. I met such amazing people during these two days. The group of women I met on the boat in Halong Bay were so supportive 
supportive, kind, and so welcoming. Our amazing vibe made that experience a top highlight of the entire trip. My hostel organized the entire tour, so no need to plan ahead if you also want to visit this place. It's a well-traveled backpacker's path that is very popular to do as a side trip from Hanoi. I paid around 1.5 million dong for all the transport and the boat crews for one night. Thank you so much for watching episode two of this vlog series and don't forget to subscribe to watch the next episode. I joined a 25 day guided group tour that started in Hanoi, explored all over Vietnam before heading up through to Cambodia and ended in Bangkok, Thailand. You don't want to miss it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!